Hey, in this video, I'm gonna go over Laravel Sale. This is a new addition to the Laravel ecosystem that allows pretty much anyone to get started developing Laravel applications really quickly, whether on uh, Windows, Linux, Mac, doesn't really matter. All you need is Docker and just uh, a couple commands and you can get started. So it's gonna spin up basically PHP, it can get uh, MySQL, Redis, you can get Postgres. It just depends on how uh, familiar you are with Dockerized containers and setting up the, the correct uh, services you need. In the case of just a general Laravel sale vanilla installation, let's call it, it's going to provide you with Redis, MySQL, PHP, Nginx, uh, and a uh, an email testing uh, service, which is which is really cool. And just to get started, I'll show you. You will need Docker Desktop, which I'll link in the description below. If you download this and your computer is compatible with Docker, uh, you'll end up having an application installed that looks something like this. And this allows for containerized services and images. And basically this is what makes Laravel sale work. As you can see, mine uh, inst install has no images, no containers, nothing, because I haven't run anything yet. It's also worth noting that I've actually disabled all of my services. I typically use Brew and Valet to just get everything I need to run and build Laravel applications. As you can see, PHP, Nginx, and MySQL are stopped which means I'm not running anything. So I should have no conflicts. And the installation instructions I'm gonna show you here uh, should work on your computer, assuming you don't have something set up already. I'm just gonna generate a new Laravel application. Every new Laravel application, so version eight forward, version 8.16, I think forward or 1.7, forward will have sale installed. So all you have to do is just generate a new project and I'm gonna call it sale test. While that's installing, I'll show you that there is a section inside the documentation that does go over installing sale into an existing application, and it's quite easy. So um, you'll run a composer require command, this installation command, and then vendor bin sale up, which we have to run anyways. So just two commands. Once this is installed, which shouldn't be too much longer, we can alias this. Uh, I actually alias stuff within my zisharc file, so it's permanent, but just doing this will probably be enough depending on your operating system. Also worth noting, if you're on Windows, you'll need to enable WSL2. I'm not actually sure why you need to do that, but it is in the it is in the documentation. So um, Laravel sale is supported on Mac OS, Linux, and Windows via WSL2. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and just run. If you don't want to uh, create an alias, you could just run it uh, dot slash vendor slash bin slash sale up, which I will show you how. So keep in mind, I have no images, no containers, and this is just a fresh project. If I CD into it, I can do dot slash vendor slash bin slash sale up. What's gonna happen now is it's gonna generate um, the images and, and create the container so it can actually run. And just to show you that it's not working currently, I have localhost here. You can see that it doesn't actually work. And theoretically, after this is done installing, I will be able to access it. Okay, and it's a couple minutes later. It looks like it's finished up. So let's take a look into Docker Desktop, see what's happening here. You can see sale test is running. I've got MySQL, Redis, MailHog, and uh, another service here. If I refresh here, localhost, we'll see a fresh Laravel project. Uh, this is Laravel 8.19 and PHP version 8. So just to prove that this is actually this application, I'm gonna type control C. Control C just shuts down the container and all the services. So now we can run sale up dash D and this will actually uh, start sale, but in the background, as we'll see in a second. And there it is. So installation takes a few minutes depending on your computer, but actually starting the containers one, container once it's fully installed is actually very fast. So I'm gonna clear the, the editor here. I'm going to open this up in VS Code. And let's take a look. So just to prove that it is this project, we can return hey from Laravel sale. If I go back to the browser now and refresh, I should see hey from Laravel sale. And that's exactly what I see. So that means that this is the project being loaded through localhost. And let's take a look while we're in here at the Docker files. So uh, by default, Laravel sale includes a PHP 8 and PHP 7.4 Docker file, separate Docker files for, for both of those PHP versions. 
and you don't need to know all of what's going on in here. The most important things are in Docker dash compose, uh, the YAML file here. So this is where the majority of the work is gonna be for modifying for your use case. Uh, in my case, most of the applications I'm building are MySQL based and are using Redis and are using PHP 8. So this is perfect right out of the box for me. One cool thing about uh, Laravel sale is that it includes uh, Mailhog. So if I grab that port, I can load that up on localhost and I can use Mailhog. And what's gonna happen here is, is I can use this to test emails, outbound emails, which is great. It is pretty cool that this is included right out of the box with Laravel sale. When you want to bring the, the, the container down, all you need to type is sail down. That'll shut everything off. And when you want to start it again, it's just like I showed before. So sail up dash D for in background. So, and it's up. And one thing to note is that when you are running PHP artisan commands, you're going to want to prefix it with sale. So PHP or sale PHP artisan make controller test controller, let's say. And that's going to generate a test controller or controller name test controller within VS Code. If we look that up, it should be there and it sure is. So that's a demo of uh, Laravel Sale. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I'd be happy to help. Currently at 330 subscribers, so thank you so much for everyone subscribing. Uh, it's really exciting to me. I did not expect it to go this quickly. And I hope that uh, if you aren't subscribed, you do subscribe because I am pretty motivated to, to keep uh, releasing tutorials. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.